story that is all new this morning at six. Uh, Georgetown University student says that they were the victim of a hate crime on campus and they want the university to take action. Our Randy Ayala spoke to the college senior who says a decision could come as soon as today. The wait for justice has been long for Georgetown University senior Lahanna Giles. I just started thinking like it feels like a cover up. <laughs> It feels like a cover up. Georgetown is trying to erase what happened to me. The college senior whose pronouns are they them says in April while sitting outside the student center, a white male student yelled racial slurs and violent threats from a dorm room window. This has been a really traumatic event and I've, I'm still in therapy as a result of it. I have to get off campus. I don't feel safe. Like this is a really uncomfortable environment for me um, and for me it's just completely altered my senior year. Giles feels the school is not taking the case seriously. After waiting months for answers, they learned the Georgetown Police Department lost surveillance footage related to the investigation. A spokesperson with Georgetown tells me still photos of potential suspects were taken from surveillance video based on who entered the residence hall around the time of the incident. Georgetown said investigators later discovered the video server failed and all footage of students entering and exiting the building had been lost. I would really like them to expel the student who committed the racist hate crime against me. He not only intimidated me and made me feel unsafe, but um, I feel that he's a threat to the entire community. Georgetown says another delay is due to the initial report being filed as a bias related incident instead of an actual hate crime. It did not get upgraded until December 6th, one day after students held a sit in protest. I'm Randy Ayala, WUSA 9. And Giles told us that they are expecting a decision from school officials again as soon as today. A university spokesperson wouldn't confirm if the person who yelled the violent racist rhetoric is a student, but did say, quote, the abhorrent behavior involved in this incident is a clear violation of Georgetown's code of student conduct. The likely punishment being suspension or dismissal.